you know, working on the Black & Decker cylinder here. Um, first thing, intake, open it up larger. I filled it with epoxy and opened it up, and I don't know how much of that you can see, but you can see the dots there where I broke through. I even got a little bit. I don't know if it's going to pick up. There's a little bit of a flange in there, too. Um, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> It'll just snap right off. Um, and then I'm just uh, doing the... And I did open up the transfers a little bit uh, on both sides. I already did that already. And then now I'm just lowering this, and I'm probably going to pay hell when I put the rings on. Uh, but I don't know. I just wanted it just a hair lower. I wanted to make sure it actually got in there pretty well. And this one's beautiful. It's going to be so easy to do transfers on it, you know, the uppers, and put them where you want them. So, uh, after I finish this, uh, next will be exhaust. Finish transfers, for the most part. I still got to scuff up the bevel a bit. But that's that. So close, it's embarrassingly ugly. Um... That's your insides. I just let a diamond bit skate over it and it gives it a nice rough finish but doesn't really change the texture too much. I don't know, I like that better than a just a mill finish with a bit personally. Did the same thing with these. I just hit them with the, like this stuff's just so slick. And then I just hit them with that. You can hear, just touch them with the burr at a real low speed, a diamond one, and it gives it, you just kind of rust it up. So this is the same thing I do with the intake here. You know, I don't know, I, whenever I ever use sandpaper, it just got a little ugly for me. Yeah. I just chewed it up is what would happen, but anyway. All right, here we are. Uh, we'll just go through, start from, uh, let's say, I guess intake. Um, Final number, 81. Quite a bit of it is off the piston. Let's see, that's the intake side, so you can see how it kind of loops up there. Um, there's quite a skirt, you can see where I shaved it down. The, the intake is bigger though. Exhaust, I took that entire skirt off the bottom and just molded it into the, because <laughs> it's got plenty of support and there's no chance of free port. And uh, there's my line to make sure I didn't hit my pin for the exhaust, so. You know, I didn't. Uh, transfers, I did open them. I opened them all the way through with a small bit. Um, again, this is embarrassingly close. It doesn't look quite as bad as it does on video, but, uh, um, and then, you know, you can see all the way through there. I just done this one. I don't think it can hurt it, but we'll find out. Um, transfers, uh, they are at. 125 so blow dance 19 and I purposely went a little less blow down on this and I did grind the caps a little bit on the ends there I don't know if you can catch that because uh, it was wanting to um, they were hanging up higher than transfers so I did all my work through in through here Exhaust, uh, as good as I'm gonna make it look. So, again, it it's slick, but you know, I'm, I'm not. I I don't necessarily think I need to mirror polish it, uh, but that's me. I've just finished off with a green scratch Scotch Bright on a flap, you know, a flap wheel gizmo. So, we're gonna see how this thing does with no machine work and fairly toasty numbers and a lower blowdown and. And uh, so what we're at here is again, exhaust 106, intake 81, transfers 125, and crankcase compression, 44 degrees, which is a bit low for one of these, but we'll see how it does. Oh, I did square off the outlet of the exhaust as well. And uh, I'll match that up and may have to do some JB weld on the intake because I didn't think I made it that much bigger, but I guess I did. Didn't make it very symmetrical either, but eh, is what it is. Maybe Motosil or JB Will. We'll see. There it is. Thanks.